Let's talk about the armor of God today. Put on the full armor of God so that you can make your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this world, darkness, and again against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And I'm going to show you the heavenly realms today. And I've shown you a lot of faces, but then it says, Therefore take up the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you'll be able to stand your ground, having done everything to stand. Is your armor on today? That is the question. If you're not a believer, it can't be on because you don't believe in it. You don't know about it. Our struggle, the word struggle here is not against flesh and blood and the concordance. Our struggle not against the flesh and blood. Our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, against the government or any of that. It's against the spirits, principalities, and evil forces that are in the heavenly realms that are taking men by force and the government. So there you go. So let me show you what's over in this one area that I caught yesterday in Alaska. And I didn't even pick the name up, but that don't matter because I'm going to show you the cloud. So hang on to your seats because you're going to, be, you're going to have a revelation today of what's above your head. Stay tuned. So warning for all you guys that have a weak heart. I'm going to show you pictures in the heavenlies. The second heavens. Not that we focus. I don't focus on the second heavens. But when I'm doing this. God opens my eyes and he shows me stuff. And he tells me what it is. So um, heavenly places. You know we know the first is earth. Second is the space. And that's where, you know, the Anunnaki or fallen angels or the fallen ones live. Now, here's a shot right here of wickedness. Um, the Lord just said, that's Floki. That's a jokester. He's wickedness. And you see all the stuff that's gathered around him. Very strange, ain't it? So, that's what I'm going to show you. Um, let me throw some pictures in here. And uh, I'll develop this thing into pretty much why I show the faces. Why I show the second heavens. Because you know you need to know how to fight once you get your armor on. Now I'll talk about the breastplate of righteousness today. Um, right standing with God. Okay, so check this out. Let me throw some pictures. And there's Floki. I believe that's Floki. You can see him close up. Um, you can see his face close up. The thing behind him is pretty freaky looking. It's a principality or something going on there. Anyways, and this is one of the reasons I show you. So you arm yourself and you fight. You don't wait to defend yourself. Now, I couldn't make that up if I wanted to because I've seen that green face and I'm like, no way. And then I, I put it in this filter so I can move it around. But our fight is not with flesh and blood. It's not like with, with Biden or whoever. It's against the principalities and powers that are influencing, or possessing these people in their ritual lifestyles. So... Um, you got to know how to pray. You got to come from the offense. You got to go after it. And stuff starts happening in your house. So last night, after I got this, the whole night was terrible. It was just warfare. And I know why. They see what I'm doing. That's Floki. Sitting on a cloud in a ship. You can see the ship on the right there. You can see the gun on the right there. Um, you can see Floki on top. I'm going to just call him Floki. And so is this a uh, blue beam? Is this an illusion? Um... I think it's spiritually seen. Now talking about spiritually seeing something, it's a gift from God and I've had it for 37 years. I could hear, see, and smell in the spirit. Very annoying when you go to Walmart. But now this ship here, you know, these demons, these fallen ones, uh, they use all types of names like Floki. They come in ships. These guys ain't stupid. And, uh, and some of them are just spirits manifesting like that one right there. I don't know. The one in the back spirit, I believe. Um, the one up front there with the purple hat and the green face looks like the jokester. It's Floki, I call him. I think that's, uh, he's, he's doing something with that ship. And he's big. If you can see a cloud that's, you know, a thousand, two thousand feet up, you see a face like that. And that's pretty big. As that, you know, I don't know trigonometry trick but you know if I did I could figure it out but that's a pretty big being 
So we fight not this flesh and blood stuff on Earth, guys. Don't waste your time with, you know, talking about that. Anything. Principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness is Floki. <laughs> and it's not a funny issue, but it is kind of funny once you've fought them for 37 years. And so when you're fighting in your sleep and you're fighting in your family, remember what's above you. Just step outside and read Psalm 91 to him. That will start the process of him running. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Now I got some new pictures from the James Webb space cam, right? And they're going deeper and they're seeing more unreal stuff. Sometimes you're going to see some strange objects in these space clouds. Let's time stamp them if you see them. And let's continue. They're real. Real spirits out there. So, what you're looking at here, I call it the front yard or the backyard of the second heavens. This is where the beings would dwell. Now, they'd have to be spiritual beings to handle 90 below, 190 below zero or have a spaceship, which I don't think they're stupid. I think they've been around a while. Uh, they were gifts from God, angels. They were created by God. They fell. One third of them came. So, they're all over the place. Who knows? Who knows how many worlds they affected and how many different types of beings they affected. But, the thing is, this is their, basically their front yard. And uh, they come from this area onto the earth because right now you're going to have the um, Revelation 8 happening, which we call the pole shift. So these things are moving around. Now, I love this telescope because it goes deeper and you've seen some similar pictures. But you're just a lot deeper now because it just keeps going farther, farther, farther billions of light years away so keep watching and uh, a lot of these beings are coming down and right above the cloud systems which they have the right of way to do let me show you a few of them okay so warning if you have a weak heart this is real footage I caught a lot of it's going to be from Jason Olette
Here's Chuck Missler sharing 10 dimensions plus 6 we don't know of. What dimension do you live in? These are spiritual dimensions. So the second heavens is a natural situation. Got it? Directly, uh, uh, we can experience them. But we know there's six others We also know that CERN uh, disturbed the electromagnetic field. So we're seeing all kinds of other anomalies going on. I'll show you a few of those. But you cannot deny there's something going on seriously in the heavens, in the skies. And when I caught this picture right here with Jason caught it and I brought it out. It's a demonic watcher. Um, who? I don't know his name. It's a fallen angel. You see the ugliness in them? Wow. Now the one coming up after these will be a crown. And that was caught the same month that Corona came out. So, so I'll show you the filtered version. i show you also the natural version. Keep watching. Here comes the crown. So as I was making this video, I asked myself, should I continue to show them these weird faces? And uh, my conclusion was yes. I mean, that right there to me looks like a cobra backing up. And now, it could just be my imagination, but after five years, I never looked for clouds in the faces in the clouds at all. And then as people on my Facebook began to see what they're seeing, they started saying, Chris, do you see that? So then I started saying, oh my god, yeah. So I've caught a couple Anunnaki besides ships. Uh, Buck Rogers, this last one I just showed you. The Floki and his ship. And then uh, there was another one I caught in Alaska where there was a probably 18 foot giant standing on the side of a ship with two giant bazooka looking guns. I mean, no joke. That's a video, see if I can find it. Um, but keep watching. It's a little long, but it's interesting these different matchups. Now as you look in space here you might see some faces. You know, uh, timestamp them, put a comment, what you think. Now the question is do you got Jesus? Do you got salvation? Do you have protection? Do you have the uh, armor of God on? You know, I put on the breastplate of righteousness. My standing with God is right. It's not of my righteousness. My righteousness is not of myself. It's of Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. My, that statement, you're putting on the breastplate of righteousness. If you look at the breastplate, it actually covers your heart from being affected. Just like the helmet of salvation affects your mental stability. And you have the mind of Christ. Now, if you're a believer, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not a believer, all you got to do is just come to the Lord right now and say, Jesus, I don't know who you are, but I believe you died on the cross. Came as a baby, died on the cross for my sins and for my healing and I receive you right now in my life in Jesus name that's it repeat that prayer and you're saved and all the angels rejoice now let me continue because it gets actually kind of scarier more warnings and keep watching to the end about 42 minute video so you can make it to the end yes you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you that's the preacher on me see I'm a real preacher but I'm not allowed to bring stuff traditionally like a pulpit style preacher like Paul Beckley. I'm not allowed to do that. What I do is I show you 
the things of the Spirit. What I'm showing you is what you should pray for, pray against. So many spirits, I catch them over different states and I take authority over them. Well, as you see them, take authority over them. Let me continue.
Now here you see this um, entity on this cloud looking thing. It's like a ship or it's like a sun simulator behind him and he's on like a little ship. He's on the top of it. That's what it looks like. Anyway, it's just another entity to take a look at. They're all over the place. Now, I've never seen them before. This picture was sent to me by John Hubbard. It's not his picture, but he said, check it out, Chris. And so I'm gonna maximize it. So we are in my studio doing the maximizer. I got it up to right there, it's about 300 times. So the conclusion of this video is that we're not alone, that's for sure. In the spirit realm, there's all kinds of things going on. And um, some of the stuff I show might reflect that. Some of that might, might, might be our imagination. But no matter what, we fight against flesh and We fight not against flesh and blood. We fight against flesh and blood, but we shouldn't fight against flesh and blood. So take it to the heavens in prayer. Bind and loosening. Keys of the kingdom in your hands and thanks for coming to my wild show but you don't think these entities are weird start looking up in the sky and stop looking at your phone so much and you'll see some stuff that'll blow your mind send me a picture talk to you later a couple seconds here it'll be all gone bye bye I mean the earth and all the foolishness going on see those spirits their influence in our governments and they're coming down more than I've ever seen them so stay tuned for the next video guys subscribe like and share with a friend today okay god bless